We are one, as I have indicated many times in this space. As we go, so goes life on Earth. We depend on many non-human species for our continued survival. Because our species has become so powerful, all life on Earth depends upon our continued survival. The all-important rate of environmental change ensures the extinction of all life on Earth shortly after Homo sapiens goes extinct. I have occasionally mentioned sustainability times as a reliable source of information. The easing comes through again with an article that demonstrates the interconnectedness of life on Earth. On July 21st, 2025, Sustainability Times published an article titled, We Thought It Was Just Pee. It Wasn't. Whale Urine Study Uncovers Stunning Biological Secrets Hidden in Ocean Giants. Here's the subhead, quote, In an unprecedented ecological discovery, scientists have unveiled the crucial role of whale urine in sustaining marine ecosystems by transporting vital nutrients across vast oceanic distances, offering new insights into the interconnectedness of ocean life." End quote. The story at Sustainability Times begins with a section titled, In a Nutshell. This section contains four bullet points. One, quote, whale urine plays a critical role in transporting nitrogen, fertilizing coral reefs, and coastal ecosystems, end quote. Two, quote, the Great Whale Pea Funnel transfers over 4,000 tons of nitrogen annually, supporting marine biodiversity, end quote. Three, quote, whales act as, a, as nature circulatory system, connecting ecosystems thousands of miles apart, end quote. And four, quote, rebuilding whale populations is essential for restoring global ecological systems and enhancing nutrient flows, end quote. After the bullet points, the article at Sustainability Times includes an engaging paragraph, quote, The vast, mysterious oceans of our planet hold secrets that continue to astonish scientists and environmentalists alike. One of these secrets involves the unexpected ecological role of whales. These majestic marine mammals, often celebrated for their size and grace, are now being recognized as vital components of the ocean's nutrient cycle. Recent studies have illuminated how whale urine, rich in nitrogen, acts as a crucial nutrient delivery system across the globe, fundamentally supporting marine ecosystems and promoting biodiversity. But how exactly do these gentle giants perform such a critical environmental function? End quote. An answer to the question comes in a two-paragraph section titled, quote, The Great Whale Pea Funnel, an Ocean-Wide Transfer System, End quote, that also introduces a peer-reviewed paper. Quote, Recent research has introduced the concept of the Great Whale Pea Funnel, a fascinating process by which whales transport vast amounts of nitrogen across oceans. This process begins in the nutrient-rich polar feeding grounds. Here, great whales like humpbacks, grays, and right whales consume ample food, storing energy in the form of blubber. As they migrate to tropical waters, they release nitrogen-rich urine, effectively fertilizing coral reefs and coastal ecosystems that are often nutrient-deficient. According to a study published in Nature Communications, whales are responsible for transferring over 4,000 tons of nitrogen annually. This nutrient transfer is essential for the growth of algae, plankton, and coral, providing a vital link in the ocean's food web. This revelation builds upon the earlier discovery of the whale pump, which described how whale feces enrich surface waters with nutrients supporting plankton growth. End quote. The following section indicates the magnitude of whale urine and its importance. Quote, fin whales in Iceland can produce over 250 gallons of urine daily, a stark contrast to less than half a gallon discharged by humans. This urine, rich in urea, serves as a potential fertilizer in oceanic regions that face nutrient shortages. It supports the growth of marine life over thousands of miles, creating a dynamic and interconnected ecological network." End quote. More than 250 gallons of urine daily? I no longer complain when I get up in the middle of the night to urinate. The following section points out the importance of whales in restoring the entire marine ecosystem. Quote, the role of whales in nutrient distribution was significantly hampered by commercial whaling, 
which drastically reduced their populations. Before this decline, the nutrient flows f facilitated by whales were estimated to be up to three times greater than they are today. Conservationists like Joe Roman, a study co-author, argued that increasing whale numbers is not just an act of conservation, but a critical step in restoring a global ecological system. Whales act as the ocean's circulatory system, moving nutrients that sustain life across vast distances. Their presence and health are indispensable for maintaining the balance and productivity of marine ecosystems. As Roman eloquently puts it, quote, within the quote, we often think of plants as the lungs of the planet. Animals are the circulatory system, end quote. The following and final section is titled, quote, Nutrient Flows and Their Broader Ecological Significance, end quote. It wraps up the article in three paragraphs, quote, The nutrient flow facilitated by whales have far-reaching effects beyond just marine life. These flows support the entire oceanic food chain, impacting everything from the smallest plankton to the largest ocean predators. By aiding in the growth of foundational species like algae and plankton, Whales indirectly support fisheries, which are crucial for human consumption and economic activity. The staggering movement of over 45,000 tons of biomass annually by whales underscores their ecological significance. In areas where whale populations are healthy and thriving, the available nitrogen levels can more than double, reaffirming the importance of their role in nutrient cycling. As ecosystems globally face increasing pressures from climate change and human activity, understanding and supporting such natural processes becomes ever more crucial. As we continue to uncover the myriad ways in which whales contribute to the planet's health, it prompts a broader question. In what other unexpected ways might the natural behaviors of animals be supporting the ecosystems we rely on, and how can we best protect these vital processes?" End quote. I now turn, briefly, to the peer-reviewed open access paper at Nature Communications, titled Migraining Baleen Whales Transport High-Latitude Nutrients to Tropical and Subtropical Ecosystems. The paper was created by 10 scholars and published on March 10, 2025. The abstract tells the tale, quote, Baleen whales migrate from productive high-latitude feeding grounds to usually oligotrophic tropical and subtropical reproductive winter grounds, translocating limiting nutrients across the ecosystem boundaries in their bodies. Here, we estimate the latitudinal movement of nutrients through carcasses, placentas, and urea for four species of baleen whales that exhibit clear annual migration, relying on spatial data from publicly available databases, present and past populations, and measurements of protein catabolism and other sources of nitrogen from baleen whales and other marine mammals. Migrating gray, humpback, and North Atlantic and southern right whales convey an estimated 3,784 tons of nitrogen per year and 46,512 tons of biomass per year to winter grounds, a flux also known as the Great Whale Conveyor Belt. These numbers might have been three times higher before commercial whaling. We discuss how species recovery might help restore nutrient movement by whales in global oceans and increase the resilience and adaptive capacity of recipient ecosystems. End quote. Again, we are one. We depend upon many species for our continued survival, and all life on Earth depends on the continued existence of our species. I wish it weren't so. Again, we are driving all life on Earth to extinction so that a few people can have a few dollars more. I would gladly sacrifice our species, including myself, to guarantee the continued persistence of other species. The ongoing mass extinction event, by far the worst in planetary history, indicates our time is short. Perhaps it's time we lived accordingly. <laughs>